Hi, all curious ones. Today, I want to talk about a bit of uh, personal marketing. Now, I'm between two jobs or contracts, uh, but finding a new opportunity uh, is never, never an easy task. I have plenty of experience, but uh, how I can show it to an HR person, to a recruiter uh, or a company um, that I have them. So, you can add work, uh, working experience to your uh, CV, you may add projects uh, you have uh, worked on, uh, for example, like on uh, your website and you can link uh, to, those, uh, to those projects or create a GitHub profile or something like that. But if you are a de uh, backend developer or a security professional uh, and you are not allowed to, to share internal code uh, fragments or solutions, this can be a very difficult task. In the past couple of uh, weeks, I've been contacted by a recruiter and the contract uh, sounds very interesting. And the hiring process is very simple. First, can you speak in English and write uh, something in English? Probably I have uh, proved uh, this capability with my YouTube videos and my blog. You need to solve a test uh, task and uh, the third part is you need to talk with the team. Well, it's quite simple. Uh, so, but I was uh, praying that the test should not be a current test. Please no, please no, but it was. So, let's have a look on hacker rank. Okay, this is something not supposed to happen. It's a bug. So let's have a look on hacker rank. <clears throat> so this is the website. If you are not familiar with it, here uh, you have a tab for uh, candidates. And if I try to, uh, you know, go through this uh, interface, I can see uh, many topics and we even have a preparation kit that uh, we can solve. These are uh, uh, <laughs> lots of tasks you can do, but uh, if you want to, you know, for example, uh, let's start with the first category, algorithms. And here uh, you can you start with the solving first. Yeah, I can uh, click on this. Here uh, we have a simple uh, task description. Here we have a place we, uh, where we can uh, solve our code. We can even uh, switch to different uh, programming language, uh, languages, which is uh, quite great. And if we try to solve this, this is the hint here. Yep. So it seems uh, it cached my code. So yeah, it's okay. So submit the code. This will uh, try to. Um, test our code uh, against various uh, test cases and if it uh, passes then we are good to go. Yeah, it works and we can submit this. It's good. I think this is like a quite amazing uh, feature but here's a but. Let's 
go back there again. So, HackerRank has a lot of great features, and if you want to learn a new uh, programming language uh, with minimal effort, for example, you don't want to uh, create your work uh, development environment or project just to, you know, uh, learn the language basis, then it's a great platform. Uh, when I was uh, at the university, we had similar uh, platforms uh, where we can uh, solve our um, task uh, for our programming courses. But, uh, but <clears throat> if you are working uh, on a more complex uh, project, <laughs> then solving a simple uh, algorithmic problem can feel uh, like a waste of time. And uh, it won't give you the satisfaction and the skill required, required to solve this kind of puzzles are probably not enough uh, for a real project. For example, there are no, uh, you don't write tests. Uh, you don't need to uh, write documentation. You don't have to deal with uh, Git, uh, with areas. These are just simple uh, tasks. And this is why, uh, where it's connected to personal marketing. So, okay, uh, I can solve these, uh, challenges and uh, it will be shown on my uh, hacker and profile that uh, recruiters can also uh, see and maybe our future colleagues uh, also can uh, have a look at it and uh, more places you share what you are capable of the more opportunities uh, you will have so I need to solve this and uh, any future similar uh, tests, but um, it's not challenging uh, enough for me. So this is why I figured out uh, I will create a challenge for myself and I try to convert my hacker rank journey into a project uh, I could work on. So first off, let's see, uh, is there any uh, projects like uh, uh, this uh, on GitHub and yes there are uh, plenty of uh, projects uh, on GitHub uh, that uh, offers you uh, hacker solutions. I will not uh, for these projects I just want to you know have a look at uh, how others uh, started uh, their journey. The first one is, uh, I think, uh, it's quite good. So, it's a Java-based, uh, here, uh, he created a YouTube channel and uh, uh, he uploaded their, his uh, work uh, <coughs> on uh, the hacker -like solutions. So it's uh, quite good. So we have a readme here. It's also great and we have a license. The licensing was a big uh, question for me, but this is an MIT license. So this means probably we can use MIT license uh, to our project as well. And to be honest, uh, all other uh, current projects I found are MIT licensed also. For example, this one. Yeah. And so probably licensing is not an uh, issue so let's go to our go to my profile and let's create a new repository this will be my hacker rank solution. 
it will be a public repository and it will be uh, need to add a readme here and license MIT <coughs> I will work on uh, the other um, parts like uh, creating the readme and set up uh, the other uh, things related to this uh, project of mine in a future episode. So if you are interested, you can follow my work uh, and see you next time. Bye.